Pot Subter at PLMBS Physical Therapy, Class of 2025. Welcome aboard, fellow Kapidis. This is your captain speaking. I am Micaela, your CPD Student Council Treasurer, and it's a pleasure to virtually meet all of you. I am here today to share some study and productivity tips on how to survive BSPT in our current online setup. And this includes the app that I use and the materials that I use when I'm studying. I have gathered some techniques and tips that works effectively for me and to our fellow Kapitids and a little disclaimer that these tips may or may not work for you and that is totally okay. Now please go easy on yourself as because we are still in the pandemic and always remember that productivity and grades doesn't define us. Now shall we start? Now as we all heard from our seniors, graduates, and even registered PTRPs that our program is heavy on memorization. Now this idea may be overwhelming but fret not. That's why we use memory aids such as these handy flashcards to memorize the muscle oina. Muscle oina or stands for origin, insertion, nerve innervation, and action, which all BSPT students go through during their first year as because anatomy is our bread and butter subject. You can also opt to buy your own flashcards at PT Flashcards and Moinerize Flashcards by our very own CPT and you can also make your own flashcards. Since we rely a lot on memorization all throughout college, how will I be able to retain all these informations? Now I am about to introduce you to this powerful technique in recalling your lessons in OINA, ROM, or pharmacology subjects in your higher years. This technique is called the space repetition. Now what is space repetition? Space repetition means to space out your studying by introducing time intervals between study sessions. You can remember more even if you spend fewer actual hours in studying. It is a method in which you refresh the knowledge periodically with specific time periods. Now, what is the rationale behind space repetition? As shown from the graph beside me, in learning, there is what we call the forgetting curve. And this downward slope shows how much we forget as time, days, weeks, or months pass by. Now, we set specific time intervals in which we refresh our memory. You can adjust the schedule to what best suits your needs. You can also use apps for space repetitions that I personally use, such as Anki, and Quizlet. You can also use your flashcards or integrate your learning materials to what suits you. I personally use this wheel spinner during my anatomy classes in order for me to retain the memory in Moina and help me to recall what I have memorized. Now this technique helps in long-term retention of what you have learned from your anatomy classes, kinesiology, therapeutic exercises, and pharmacology subjects, and many more. Not gonna lie, I always come for my subjects given that there are so many pre-recorded lectures and chapters and chances to highlight. And being a passive learner consumed so much of my time, not until I integrated what I call the active recall. Now this next technique is what I find the most effective for me. It keeps my memory functioning and keeps me engaged in studying. Now in Active Recall, there are so many methods to choose from, and this includes mind maps, marginal notes, think like a teacher, and answering practice sets. In using mind maps, I have already used many mind maps in remembering bony landmarks and memorizing the joints during my anatomy classes. In writing marginal notes naman, first, write on the margins per paragraph or use a scratch paper. You can jot down random words from what you can extract from your paragraph so when you read it, you can recall the information. Next is the Think Like a Teacher. The Think Like a Teacher technique is the most engaging way of learning. Think of yourself in the POV of your professor. So, what would you like to discuss to your students? How will you make them participate in class? And what will you include in your quizzes and exams? You can also teach your classmates as this engagement will also improve your critical thinking skills. Now for the next technique, I am sure that you are already familiar with this concept but if not, the Pomodoro technique is setting up a timer of 25 to 5 ratio of studying and break. 
And after finishing 4 cycles, you can have a long break of 15 minutes or longer. Of course, you can also adjust this to your liking and what you find effective for you. So, I do the Pomodoro technique by 40 minutes of work and 8 minutes of break. That's what works for me. This method helped me to balance my appetites and extracurricular activities, given that I am from CPT Student Council and a part of Movement Expert Society. I finish my deliverables and duties in my orgs with the help of this technique and time management by integrating the Pomodoro technique. Now, as you enter college, your time management skills may be put to the test. Juggling academics, extracurricular activities in your orgs, responsibilities at home, or even if you are a working student, the concept of time blocking may work for you. So instead of scattering multiple tasks and deliverables for the day, the time blocking works by scheduling a task to be accomplished at a specific time period of the day. Gather specific tasks that are related to each other to be accomplished first. This picture on the side shows an example of how to apply time blocking. And for the next portion of the video are the apps that I use in studying in my iPad and laptop and a preview of the materials that I use in this learning setup. First on the list is Adobe Acrobat. As we heavily rely on PDFs, modules, and PowerPoints, this application is an essential for all students. Adobe Acrobat offers tools in highlighting, annotating, and writing on your PDFs. I use this app both in my laptop and in my iPad. Next we have is Quizlet. As I mentioned with my study tips, Part of how I active recall is by studying flashcards in Quizlet. It helps to retain your memory and there are a lot of other flashcards you can study with. Featuring my favorite app, Notion. Using templates, this application helped me in making my to-do list and tracking my deliverables for today. This serves as my journal where I put my priority things to do, what I am grateful for, weekly goals, and mood board. I also have a template where I track my readings, quizzes, and assignments for specific subjects.
I hope these tips can help you to be a more efficient student. This online setup may be difficult for a program as we are a practical course. In this compromised setup of learning, we can only rely on each other as blockmates, batchmates, org mates, and as a college. Ngayon pa lamang ay proud na kami sa inyo, Batch 2025! Congratulations and welcome to PLM College of Physical Therapy. Together, we conquer.